Thank you for clicking and welcome to my social pathology video by which you understand underlying mechanics of social problems and also by which you can reconfirm your life direction to attain true happiness on this planet Earth. This time I would like to discuss Wakayama curry poisoning case that happened in Japan. My name is Dr. Samurai, a uh, professor specialized in uh, international social pathology and also an active prison counselor of 20 years experience. As usual, I would like to uh, provide you uh, some brief general information first, then I'd like to move on to our main discussions. You ready? Let's start. So, this Wakayama curry poisoning case. Wakayama is a city a little south of Osaka, which is the second largest city in Japan. It happened in 1998 on uh, July 25th. It was the evening of local summer festival and the uh, PTAs got together and cooked free curry rice to uh, serve the people who attended the summer festival. However, later on it was found that uh, 63 people got uh, really sick of uh, arsenic poisoning and four people including uh, elementary school students and uh, elderly died because of the arsenic poisoning at the time who was in charge of the cooking pot of curry was uh, Masumi Hayashi who was uh, 37 years old she was uh, sentenced to uh, death because of this uh, incident. The reason I wanted to uh, discuss this uh, Wakayama curry poisoning case is because over 20 years after, there are many voices rising that say Hayashi may not be guilty of her crime. I would like to make a comment on that based upon my professional speculation. This is speculation on the pieces of information which I believe are more reliable to uh, judge this case. It's like this because there is no clear motive and because there's no uh, direct evidence with all evidence sees being uh, situational and also because of the uh, guided cross-examinations conducted by police people who uh, directly uh, interviewed with uh, Masumi because of her friendly personality started to think she might be innocent and should be exonerated based upon these unclear evidences and so on. As a professional, I thought I would like to make a comment based upon my speculations. Most of the people who started to talk about her innocence are either influenced by her personality or based on these shakeable evidences and the main thing is considered she does not have a clear motive. Masumi and her husband Kenji. Kenji had the business as a termite terminator in which 
he used、uh, arson very often to kill termites. Masumi was、uh, considered to、uh, have committed、uh, 23 insurance frauds and attempted insurance frauds by using arsenic. Those who point out she doesn't have clear motive indicate s that、uh, all those frauds, insurance frauds, are for money. And by killing the local people, she、uh, could not get any money. So, why she bother? This was the central discussion by them. But、uh, looking into her growing up, her mother was an、uh, insurance agent who was very successful. But,、uh, At the same time, always out working to、uh, find her clients. And her father was、uh, a quiet person. It was a small rural town of uh, uh, fishery. So she was uh, uh, raised under those uh, quiet uh, dad and uh, uh, very active, probably.、Uh, Ambitious, outgoing mother, successful as an insurance agency. So it is、uh, always pointed out that、uh, among those poor n e i g h b o r h o o d her family was the only one who had pianos, which is、uh, very expensive. But、uh, at the same time, father being、uh, not so、uh, communicative. And the mother always been out, although she was a, a third of three、uh, siblings, she was always very quiet and a good, ideal girl. But、uh, unusual obedience always hides anger smoldering inside. And it always comes out when he or she hits like 18 or so, becoming independent, supported by、uh, you know, sexual energy, and so forth. So she was a good girl till high school. She allegedly entered nurses' school. Lived、uh, in a dormitory which was strictly supervised. Being into、uh, living free as she、uh, wanted around the age of 18 and 19, she could not stand that、uh, strict、uh, regulations of the dormitory. And it was there that、uh, Masumi. Met with、uh, Kenji, who appeared like、uh, gangsters driving、uh, luxurious foreign cars and expensive accessories and stuff. Because、uh, he made a lot of money by operating this、uh, termite terminating business. So they got together and their life started. As Her mother worked as an insurance agency. Later on, Masumi herself started to work as an insurance agency. So she was very familiar with the, the system of insurances. And Kenji was a professional in terms of using arsenics and poisons and so on for his business. So they got together. And、uh, as I have said, uh, uh, she was suspected of committing、uh, 23 frauds and attempted、uh, insurance frauds. Her brief life story was like that. So, getting back to where we were, people think she didn't have any motive because、uh, killing. Her neighbors 
didn't lead to uh, any uh, money, but uh, having seen her acts on uh, TV and her behavioral patterns of uh, conducting frauds for a long time, she was uh, both uh, sadistic and also having a high psychopathy. As I have mentioned, she could not show it until she uh, got out of her house and become free. In the case of uh, Ms. Homoruka in the Ken and Bobby case in Canada, certain uh, people embracing their deep aggression or strong obsession they can only start to show their true selves with the other more aggressive partners. In case of the Kala Homolka, it was Paul Bernard, right? So in case of Masumi, it was Kenji, who was uh, the leading figure in couple. So with the, her husband's strong presence, she started to show her true selves. What I'm trying to say here is, say she had a high psychopathy and high material obsessions. What uh, most people do not know is people with the high psychopathy reacts irrationally to the external aggression that tries to uh, invade into her own territory. People say killing a neighborhood doesn't produce any money, but uh, they say that because they do not know what the uh, psychopath really are. Yes, they uh, very often act on their greed and they attack those who are in their way. But also, when they feel threatened or feel like invaded into her own territory, it is highly possible that Masumi automatically reacted due to her anger to her neighbors, which one of the closest neighbor mentioned. Her family was uh, ostracized in that local community because of their selfish uh, acts of throwing uh, their garbage and trash into the nearby rivers and, and acting like uh, somebody, or acting like uh, gangsters, although they are not and, uh, you know, flashy uh, ways of living, they were hated by the neighbors. So it was allegedly said by the closest neighbor when Masumi showed up to get together with the PTAs to cook uh, free curry rice, everybody became quiet because they hated Masumi. And Masumi sensed it. Masumi felt clearly that she was ostracized. And uh, again, I'd like to point out, psychopath can possibly react to external invasion and embarrassment. So I think uh, there is a clear motive in addition to her behavior patterns of committing 23 insurance frauds in the past. Although her request for retrials at the Supreme Court was rejected, she is now requesting retrial locally again. And when she knew it, Masumi's oldest daughter committed suicide. And her two children both died. I bought uh, two books and uh, checked into uh, detailed information. 
and uh, one book written by Masumi's younger son than the first daughter who committed suicide, okay? Oldest daughter one time asked Masumi directly, did you do it? That means the children was not even sure whether her mother did it or not. It was that kind of relationship and Masumi was that kind of mother in the family. This is very important information because uh, psychopath is known not to uh, even love his or her own uh, family members. She, uh, you know, also poisoned Kenji later on, although Kenji admitted he uh, got along with her plan of uh, getting money by drinking a bit of uh, arsenic. But all those things, arsenic, 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 that the series of incidents having to do with arsenic have to do with the Masumi's family. And now, those who try to support Masumi started to talk about uh, there are, is true a perpetrator other than Masumi, which they mean our daughter who was with Masumi on the very day of uh, curry poisoning, which was witnessed by neighbor or neighborhood uh, Chinese restaurant owner who has also kind of uh, had a bad reputation in the neighborhood. Also, there was uh, an episode that uh, before Masumi's family moved into this uh, community, there was an uh, incident in which so many neighborhood dogs were poisoned to death by the poison which was, uh, you know, dispersed on the vacant land right next to uh, the land on which uh, Masumi's family were planning to uh, build a house. But, uh, of course, this is a speculation, but uh, that poisoning could have been done by Masumi or Masumi's family in advance of moving because they hated uh, dogs or they hated uh, people in the neighbor, stuff like that. Because it was right next to the land to Masumi's house before it was built. Arsenic related incidents clearly stopped once Masumi was incarcerated. Oh, and one more thing. The central figures of uh, this claim that uh, Masumi may not be the one are those who were uh, directly interviewed. There's no offense, but uh, they are amateurs, not like uh, having uh, specific knowledges of how psychopath acts or how criminals really act. I have been uh, exchanging with my uh, prison friends so many years. Out of so many, I think almost 10 are still denying to me that they are guilty of the crimes they got found guilty of. They say to me, I haven't done any of that. The most typical representative was uh, Mr. Ivan Millet of the you know, backpacker shooters in Australia, the most famous criminal in Australian history, I think, who already passed. He maintained his innocent for almost 10 years of our exchanges. So at one time, I even started to get uh, suspicious of his uh, guilt of the crimes because he so flatly denies 
his commission. But after all that, right before he died of, I think, cancer, he confided his guilt to his mother. Certain serial offenders, certain type of serial killers, they keep clearly different two faces. Clean face outside. And behind that clean face, they do a very ugly things to show what they really are. And I know those 10 people who deny they did it. And uh, this is uh, my professional impression. But uh, those who deny their guilt usually goes to uh, too deep technical details to deny their crimes. And also they criticize the way they were cross-examined and uh, investigations conducted by investigators who are somewhat uh, well known for uh, rough investigation. They use those uh, excuses to save their faces because they have been living like that. They have been living clean person all the time, hiding their ugly deeds behind that clean face. You know, like Ted Bundy, two faces are partly very typical of uh, serial killers. In Masumi's case, she was serial offenders too in terms of uh, attempted uh, uh, insurance fraud using arsenic. I think uh, we could say it was attempted murder. So the same as the serial killers. So she is very good at uh, persuading and making uh, you know, friends with uh, those, anybody whom they have contact with. They are professional of uh, deceiving other people. They are pathological liars. I repeat it. Psychopaths are pathological liars. And those people who see only this one case do not know that. Based upon their behavioral patterns and her unusual seriousness to try to persuade those who visit that she is innocent by showing weakness once in a while. That's their old tricks, which most of those uh, psychopathic uh, offenders use, typically. The, the people who uh, try to support her innocent do not have this type of information. So I am not uh, blaming them, but uh, I uh, feel sorry for them because uh, they spent a lot of energy to prove somebody guilty being innocent. They were deceived by her friendly uh, tricks. All these are my speculations. I would like to say there's nothing wrong that uh, Masumi being guilty of her alleged crimes based upon my knowledge and exchanges with uh, multiple serial offenders. She is right in the strike zone of uh, committing this uh, curry poisoning murders. That speculation I just wanted to say. What do you think about uh, what I have said? If you have some comments, please write it at the comments section. And uh, I just uh, like to repeat 
there could be a possibility that she is innocent too. If you like this kind of discussion, please click that the red Dr. Samai logos and uh, check out my uh, best video list. And up until next time, please be sharp wherever you are on the same planet Earth. Bye-bye now, my friend.